P12V Sony. P12V corner part, David. Is that P12 down? No, no. I mix, I P9 mix. Good morning, eh? Uh, we just got a. These are Duny Rams that we've just fetched in the other side, Vepna, which is almost in bloom. Um, they're two tooth, so they're still very young. And uh, they, so they've got very good wool. You'll see, I'll show you tomorrow when you open their wool. It's actually average of about, I think, what's it, 17 micron or something, eh? which is very fine. So they, they're going to use them now on our Duny use, the, the 340 Duny use that we bought. Um, and then obviously try and get uh, breed, uh, breeding females through them so then we can obviously start producing our own rams down the track instead of getting an adaptable animal for this area so yeah I'm very happy with these so it's been a long trip but hopefully they'll all be good they're pretty strong so they it'll take a while for them to adapt and just get used to the environment and stuff so we'll leave them in the crawl here for two or a couple of days before we put them out in the felt and then we can um, Twee sake, asseblief hoor. Is hy leeg? Ja, twee sake asseblief daar hoor. I'll just dose them and then inoculate them with pulpy kidney which is which we'll do tomorrow. It's, a, it's, a, it's something that the sheep get when there's a change in environment, change in food or whatever it happens then they actually can, they can easily die. The kidney, when they die the kidney actually becomes like mush. You can actually just squeeze it to bits through your hand. It's, I'm not quite sure in the particulars of the disease, but every time you change environment, change feed, it's something that you've got to do yearly with sheep. Tali boy, please. Boy, I'm Hey boy. I'm stay brief. Dan is het skeer en dan, dan halen we een beetje zin om weg. Try and hold the hoof there if you can, front. You can trim it for me. Thank you. Oh, the eye foot that Franz can fuss over, man. So we're trimming the hooves here. This is an outgrown hoof. Often happens where they, um, in a muddy environment, where there's not sufficient stones to wear down the hoof, or it could be a mineral, mineral imbalance. That one I cut a little bit deep. But she'll be fine. They'll wear down now. She'll recover in about a day or so, then she'll be fine, then she'll... Because now she's used to walking on the back of the... Of like the hocks here, so now at least she can walk normally. And this is sort of a slightly more sturdier animal, a little bit tougher. Um, as a merino origin, but it's a little bit of a different. Uh, the wool's quite good as well, but it's more dual cross purpose where the merino is predominantly wool. So this is sort of a mix between the two. And then you move to what they call the dormer, which is the other sheep that we have in one of the camps there. Shorter wool, but then that is more sort of 65, 70% meat versus wool. These are more, this is more, you can see it, look at, the, look at those animals, it's more of a 50-50. So you're looking for good, good body conformation. In other words, you're looking for a good hind quarter, good length, and then good depth in the, in the chest area. So from the top of the back to the chest, so it's all about functionality when it comes to, to looking at rams and there's also about efficiency and adaptability to the environment. You can see these rams particularly in which I was really impressed, they've got very, very strong uh, bone structure. Especially the, if you look at their forearms, they, they're incredibly um, well set. So it means they'll climb well, they'll handle rocky terrain. 